I, you didn't think you'd see me till Friday night, but here I am. I wanted to show you, um, I'm making the uh, blanket bags. So I wanted to show you one finished one that I finished this morning. Is my hair sticking up in the back? Probably. Okay, here we go. Here's one I just finished. I've got, I'm making it for some, some orders, but here's the blanket bag. It's quite, if I was to measure, I've got it, what is that, three yards probably? I mean, a, uh, a not a yard. Yeah, three, three feet is a yard, right? I guess I should measure it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should see me. I was laughing at myself this morning. Just chuckling to death. I went to put my phone on the little table by my chair, and when I put the phone down, everything fell on the floor. <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing. Everything is so, oh my gosh, I'm on the edges of this. Okay, here we go. It's approximately 27 inches long, a little bit longer than 27. And the width is like, I think it's like 22. Yep, 22. So whatever I, the first number I gave you, <laughs> I can't remember. And you're the first people I've talked to today. So anyway, that's the size of it. And what I did, this material was given to me like two years ago. It's thick, it's nice and thick. And the lining I put in here is nice and thick too. I didn't want to put any um, any um, what do you call that stuff? Fusion uh, uh, I, padding. Put padding in it because you want to be able. To, it would just weigh weigh you down. But I did put I did I did pad fused these so they're nice and soft so that when you carry it and then you can have your yarn out of the side. It's just something that's simple. It took, took me all morning to make. And I put two pockets, one on this side and one on this side. One is rectangle and one is horizontal. So it's nice and thick. I put a nice big box bottom on it. See how big the box bottom is? And I, I can't even get my arm to the end. I mean, it goes past my arm to get to the end. So it's a nice big bag. And I'm making one for Laura, one for Dina, and one for another, who was it? A blanket bag, uh, Wanda. So this is what it's going to look like, girls. Get back. So this will should hold a blanket. What do I have? Here's a baby blanket. Well, you know it's going to hold a baby blanket. So if it's, oh my goodness, it gets lost in there. That's the baby blanket at the bottom. So it is going to hold a nice big baby blanket. And so it is, I'm going to stop sewing now. The sun is coming in here and it is hot. Whew. It is warm today. Um, so that's the that's the blanket bag that I'm making. And uh, so they have the handles, nice cushy handles on there for you. Ooh, that was something too to make. But we got it made. I put it together, so I'm real happy with it. The, all three of them are going to have this material. I have, I have a boatload of this. And it's too heavy to make a dress out of. It's too heavy to make just a little drawstring bag out of. And I didn't know what I was gonna do with it, but it's perfect for these blankets. And I, I like the pattern too, I love the pattern. So anyway, that's that's the uh, blanket bags. That's one of them. I I've got the other two to make. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how, what size these are. And also, I wanted y'all to see um, the little kitty. Remember the kitties? Well, I got that bag made this morning, and that's com a commission. Somebody requested it. 
but I just thought they were so cute. I just love, I love, you can't see, I don't understand why you can't see the beautiful depth of the colors. And I put pink to go with the pink flowers with little green barrel hooks. I haven't put the, uh, I'm going to put little kitty cat stitch markers on it. So that's done. And then here's how the chicken rooster one came out. And I put a black lining in it and uh, little barrel things on it. Oops. And I put black cord on it. I thought that's pretty cute. I love designing them. I think that's the fun part about it. Because of the fabric and, um, um, you know, matching the colors and just designing it. Getting the colors, you know, just giving it a little sparkle. So that's the rooster rooster chicken one that's also spoken for I just wanted to show you all that one and then these are the ones that all I have to do is put the drawstring in and then they they will be available I've got one of the the kitties on the beach I have southwestern all I have to do is put the little drawstrings in them and then I love this I love this fabric and boy that's true to color too it's purple and blues and lavenders and it's these are little go-to bags and um, anyway I have to do I've got two of those there you go then the other day I went in I didn't think it was gonna get here I went on fabric.com and this is where I, I found this um, casino fabric and it's similar to what I had that I, in fact, I'll show you the bag. What did I do with it? Oh, it's up here. I'll show you, I'll show you the um, one that I made already that's spoken for. But I do have this fabric. Um, someone had requested it, and I was going to get back to her. But here it is, if, if you were the one that, and I got a couple yards of it, just because I think it's so pretty, and you could put any lining with it. And it's kind of interesting. I think it's a an eye catcher, if you know what I mean. But I got that in today. So, well, here, let me show you. I sold my little purse in one of the wolves. And here's, here it is. This is the hat. And this is like a medium large. And I put the green, you know, because that's usually what's, the green is usually what the uh, tables have on them. Maybe because they show the cards better. I don't know. But that's like a medium large. But that's the other the other casino type stuff. And uh, did I put a, I didn't put a stitch marker on this, didn't I? Oh, well, I got to do all that. I haven't done that. So, um, yeah, so I got, got all that done. And uh, so now I'm trying to get my stuff together for shipping. And so I, at least I can get one of the blanket bags shipped out. Um, but I got two more to make here. And I also, I have, I have another wolf and the, um, the corgi one. But I'm making, I'm making Mimi, Laura, Laura Mad Mimi. I cut her out a, um, a red truck. I couldn't remember if I made her a red truck um, do-rag or not, but I got that one cut. It kind of, you know, you make a bag and then you do a do-rag, and you make a bag and you do a do-rag. And then I made, um, then I cut this out of the chicken and rooster. <laughs> yep. And then I got... I, I didn't cut the kitty cat ones out to do her cat one because I was going to wait to see how much material I had left if there was any more request. So, you know, I just, I had gotten a lot of this. This I bought at, um, where I was the other day, where I went shopping. What's the name of that store? Joann's. That's right. Went to Joann's. That's where I got this, this from. And I, I don't know where I got that one from. So anyway, so I got those to make. And did I bring it in? I had it in my hand. 
was going to show you what I made. Oh, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I, I had it in my hand. I knew I did. And then I laid it down on the table because I wanted to show you the fabric. So I picked up the fabric and forgot that. Well, that's the way my life is. But I made another little squishy doll. This is a little smaller. So I made this one. And this is out of that little bag of, you know, yarn that someone sent me. So I love using it. It's so great. And I gave him, gave him a little hat and a little stuff. I have to do a little girl. But I don't know. I just like to do a change. I finished the one sleeve of my sweater. Now I've got the other sleeve to do. <coughs> and the collar part, which I'm doing a little different than what the, the prescription a little different than what the uh, pattern said and I got so excited I really loved this ice cream cone so I did it in this this color is called coral and it remind me of uh, an icy or something like that so I put that on this little coin purse isn't that cute and it's an, it's an ice cream cone so I made that too yesterday I mean last night and I've discovered I don't have one in here with me well I only have one card I don't have any charge cards I don't like charge cards but anyway what I've what I've done I think I went up let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen rows instead of thirteen rows so that you can slide your credit card in here and your driver's I heard thunder and your driver's license in here with your change that was my sister's idea and I, I know I made I've made them you know a little longer but I like them a little longer they they if you, you know it's just something that you can just take and I wanted to show you let me just show you um let's see. Vicki I wanted to show you this is that that old-fashioned one well I had ordered these so I'm including these with this if you like the pearls and you can unhook them and hook right here you can either keep them and drape them in the back like that you know you have this in the front or whatever side whatever size you want or you if you don't like this strap which is just something I made made up uh, if you prefer the just the pearls then just cut this off it'll cut off right here at the rings and then leave this but this has got the lobster claw and all you have to do is just click it and it'll come right off but I thought I had forgotten that I had these because the lobster claw is too big to go on these you know on these little coin purses but I actually bought them to put on these these frames but um so anyway, so this is a little extra, and I, I thought with the pearl handles that this would be pretty. So you can cut this off if you don't want, to, want it on there, or you can just drape it in the back as a little extra something, and then you have the handle here. Okay, Vicki, I wanted to show you that. So we just have, okay, let's see, and this go in the basket of finished stuff wherever I find it if I find it so that was fun I mean this little doll is just so soft but a little baby could just yeah I've been very careful about um, you know so that nothing will come off you know, you know they could be playing with it but I don't think I don't think I think it's just more of a whole thing but uh, but I'm making these for the you know for the um, and this is going to go to the the opposite one, the Lakotas, I think. So anyway, so that I did that. And my sweater I've been working on. So I do a little sewing, then I get up and I go in there. Oh, and I ordered a new office chair. Wasn't expensive. You know, the, that great big thing was just, it was so uncomfortable, I couldn't stand it. So I just got another little office chair with, you know, little arms and stuff. But I got it a little wider because this is killing me. <laughs> I mean, I had this, I've had this chair, 
I was working when I had this chair. So this is chair is like uh, 25, 30 years old, and it's the seat has come unscrewed, and I've got a pillow I'm sitting on, and I can only sit on it for so long, and then I start hurting. My butt starts hurting. So uh, I got a new chair come. I talked to the doctor last night, the cardiologist, or yesterday at 4.30 he called. He took me off of my uh, medication for the evening that I was taking. Metro, metropropol, anyway, it started with an M. So I stopped taking it last night. He ordered a couple more prescriptions for me. I have to go pick those up, and I thought I'd do that after lunch. A uh, couple more prescriptions, and it's, he said it's, with my blood pressure, it's going to be hard. We got to really, um, you know, trial and error on some of these medications. And he's going to put me on a diuretic because of the fluid. It keeps your, and I didn't realize it, but I had my, my foot crossed over my, my ankle crossed over my other ankle when I was crocheting in my chair. And I looked, and you could see where the indent was and the pressure on the side. So I must be retaining a lot of fluid. And listen to this. It just so happened, he asked me, and I'm asking, what is he asking me this? He says, are you wheezing? I said, yeah, I wheeze all the time. I mean, it's like the asthma, or, or I'm wheezing. He said, um, the medication that you take at night will cause your wheezing, which causes my airflow to constrict. So that's why I was feeling so out of breath. Can you believe that? So that's why he took me off of that medication, ASAP. And this morning, I mean, I've been going to bed early, trying not to take naps the last few days. Going to bed early, and I still wake up in five hours. So, you know, I'm up at 6.30 or 7, which I don't like getting up that early. But anyway, I got up this morning and I had all this energy. I couldn't believe it. I did. I don't know. And I told him that I have been feeling very um, fatigued and out of breath and stuff. He thinks it was the medication. So the medication I was taking at night was doing that. And I was taking that extra half of the Losartan for the heart. He told me get off that right away. So I stopped the half, and I'm just on the one. So we're just moseying along. So I'm going to have my lunch, and then I'm going to go and mosey on down to, uh, at least I don't have to get dressed. You know, I just get in the car and go down there. I just wear my, this this Moo Moo, I, it's over 20 years old, and you can see it's got holes in it. It's great. It's so comfy, and it's great for cleaning and stuff like that, and just move on. So anyway, so I'm making progress on my sweater. Hopefully this week I will have it done. Also, thank you all for entering the giveaway. Um, I am going to pick the winners on my live on Friday night, if you would like to join me. Um, I come on at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we just goof off, but I thought that would be a good time to uh, draw the four winners. Have I got everything ready yet? No. So, um, I've got to get that stuff done. Um, you know, I, I, got, I do one thing. I'm not, I think I must have just pressured myself too much, but now I'm taking it a little bit easier. Um doing my little bit here, a little bit there, and um, works out a lot better for me, I think. I don't feel obligated. I get your orders before I try to get them out like the next day, so now I'm just taking my time, doing a good job, not really um, um, stressing out on it, you know? Also, at the in my description, I'm going to enter um, the new pricing for my items that I sell. Um, some things I have on the list are like special, special ordered things like uh, the granny square tote bag with handles. You know, that's kind of like a special order. Or I make them and then it has a special price to them. Um, 
I have on here Damn It Dolls, but I haven't made any. Um, just these little just these little Damn It Dogs. Velda meets Damn It Doll. But I think he's so cute. And um, but just mostly the bags and the coin purses and that stuff. And the blanket bag. So just the items that I sell the most of. And the other things are just like special, special pricing, special order pricing. And the pricing does include shipping. So that was taken into consideration when I went through these. If they look a little wonky, that's all right. You know, we go, we go, we go with the flow, as they say. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to come in, uh, come on and show you the blanket and that this will be the size that will, this will be the size that the winner will get. I think it's second place. No. Yeah, second place. We'll get one of these blankets. It probably might be this material, but I do have some other material that I'm looking at. And it's more of a, uh, a reupholstery fabric, you know. But, um, yeah. So, uh, Friday night, we will draw the winners. And that gives everybody all week to, to enter. And I know the giveaway doesn't go to the top. Well, do you think I should put get a giveaway up there? Oh, and I want to tell you, thank you for all these interesting um the fabric that you guys got that is so cool and now we'll do something else you know like something you'd like to see me crochet or um, i do not do tutorials i don't have the equipment to do tutorials i suck at tutorials i um i do not the things that i make is a combination of things that i've seen on youtube and if you see like the coin purses go to Bag O'Day, and she tells she shows you how to make them in uh, in uh, acrylic, or, you know, yarn. I make mine in cord. Uh, I don't know why I started it. I tried it and I liked it, and I just did it that way. And my eyeglass cases are the same thing. Um, what else? But I'm making a list so that when I come across some, I mean, I, I bought, I think, it, I thought it was just three, but it was four, four or five different fabrics. But the one that I really loved, um, she didn't have, so she refunded me. So, um, but I think she's shipped, shipped the fabric, so I should be getting it in a few days. Um, but I'm telling you, I can't believe how slow the post office is. It just blows my mind. I've been looking at an item that I ordered on December the 15th. And it's from California. And it's still in transit. I looked at it this morning. Still in transit. It takes over a month. Because it was shipped on the 19th of December. And here we are on the 20th. So it's taken over a month to get here. Still not here. I think it's crazy. I think it's absolutely crazy. Oh, and then I ordered um, my CPAC um, products. Um, ordered those. Uh, they supposed to take seven to ten days. Well, that was like three weeks ago, and it came today. I couldn't believe it when I saw the postmark on it, and then how long it took. Oh. And it's just up the street. I mean, it's in Tampa. Come on. What's going on? Well, hopefully they'll look into all that. That is crazy. I don't know. I guess we do the best we can, right? We just Right now, I want to get my COVID shot and get those over with. So I'm waiting for them to get their distribution. They were giving them uh, at Port Charlotte yesterday. Then they ran out. So we just have to wait till it's... I just wait for the call from Walgreens when they get it because they know I'm old. Hmm. Excuse me. I was thirsty. So, anyway, it was nice talking to you guys this morning on Wednesday. I'm going to go, I think I'll go to the drugstore first and then come back. Yeah. 
because I want to start the other sleeve once I get that other sleeve going and then we can put it all together so hopefully I'll have it ready soon so I'm going to concentrate on that for a few hours while the sun it it'll move off but right I could tell that it's diagonal right here so it should be um, by three o'clock I usually come in about between three and four that the sun is not shining. I mean, it's hot. I mean, it's like 100 degrees coming through there. <laughs> well, that's all I got to say, I think. And I will talk to you guys. I'll definitely see you on Friday night. Unless, unless um, come hell high water and the creek don't rise. <laughs> eh. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, I wanted to do... I started watching Yellowstone yesterday with Kevin Cosner. Wow. I must have watched the first two episodes, but now I'm on season two, at the end of season two. But I got hooked on that. And so while I eat lunch, I'll watch that. But that was pretty good. I was looking for something to, you know, kind of binge on. And I'm binging on Yellowstone. Kevin Cosner got like seven kids and he's got a young wife <laughs> these old farts get these young wives <laughs> people like us don't have a chance <laughs> people in my age group we don't have a chance man on these second marriages <laughs> uh -huh. Woo. those guys go for the younger stuff so anyway I think that's all I wanted to tell you was the, about the doctor talking to the doctor. He was very nice on the phone. He was very concerned. And I ordered, he, I asked him about the blood pressure cups, the wrist or the arm. Arm. So last, listen to this. Last night I ordered an Amazon arm uh, pressure cup. I had one, but it was old and it just wasn't working right. So I got a new one. And yes, it did have batteries. I know you're saying, well, you did okay, sure. Uh, it did, it still something was wrong with it. Um, oh, I know what it was. It also, the cuff wasn't big enough. So I couldn't get it to go around properly. Because I've gained weight and got all this flat hanging down. And uh, I know, you see that knot? These knots is part of the uh, fibro. And I have one here. Let's see if you can see it from the side. I have one right here. It's been there forever. And on the side of my face. Part of the fibro stuff. These knots. I don't know if you all have them, but who has fibro, but I have them. But anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> about oh hell I don't remember what I was talking about <laughs> it went bye bye see you later maybe <laughs> that thought so anyway I'm going to say goodbye I wanted to make this quick but I did want to show the blanket bags because people wanted to see them you saw the medium large size and that's what I'll be making the go to medium large medium to large they're you know about the, the big and and the uh, blanket bags and uh, the, the other mushy mix of stuff so I'll talk to you guys I'll see you Friday for sure unless something else exciting happens so, oh about the blood pressure cup yeah so I got one that because um, around my here is um, I think it was 20 <laughs> Anyway, so anyway, I got a bigger a bigger um, cuff, and it was so easy to just clap it on and thing, and it talks to you. <laughs> it speaks right up. <laughs> it tells you, well, your blood pressure is high, and it was high today. But I'm supposed to call him, and I, I wrote it down somewhere. If my blood pressure goes over a certain amount, I'm supposed to call him. But I got to get on. The regimen of the new meds and off of the old meds. 
so anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Uh, God bless you. Um, oh, God, that one podcaster. I don't know her first name. Alpaca. I can't say anything because I can't remember how to, what her whole name is. Her sister has ALS and things aren't looking good. So I just want to say, say prayers for her. Okay. Oh, and I want to say hi to Wanda, uh, Dina's mother. Hello. Thank you for enjoying my videos. Um, I knew that you did, and we were going to meet at the, um, Dina was going to try to talk you in going to the Stitch Fest so that we could meet. And, um, uh, but I'm glad you enjoy my, my old fart station. <laughs> the old fart station, they call it. <laughs> Oh, and I posted a picture of Rosie in her bed. I put it on my bed. I, I changed the sheets and I changed the uh, bed spray because I had washed it and all that good stuff. So I put it, I just put it on. I didn't put a lining or anything in it. She likes it without the lining because I put the lining and she didn't care about it. So she, then I took it out and put, and she just lays in it all the time. Yeah. And then she just. <laughs> She just rolls up in a little ball. It was a perfect size and everything. In this picture right behind me, I painted that. That's my Samantha. She was uh, one of my cats who's passed away. But anyway, that was one of my beginning of my painting stage. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day because I am. And you should join me. Talk to you later. Bye.